to find your assignments for your English class, sign into Blackboard. And then once you click here and sign into Blackboard, you'll be on this page. And I know you're going to be tempted to click on whatever pops up in the recent activity stream. But that might be that I have just posted something for a month down the road. Um, and all your other instructors will have things there too. So it's really uh, too much to try to go through to try to find something for a specific class just by looking at this page. It'll make you crazy. So click on Courses. Then click on the specific course that you are working in. So you are working in English 101 today, we'll say. So click on that course. Um, and mine was kind of set up differently. I have mine set up in a way that I can distinguish courses based on the picture. Yours are probably more like this, and you can probably switch back and forth that way too. Um, but click on your English course, however you have it set up. And then look and see what is due by looking under due dates and then clicking on the due date that is the next one coming up. Um, I try to keep it set so that the next one coming up automatically pops up, uh, but I don't always remember to do that. Uh, so, or you may want to be working ahead and that's okay too. Um, just click on the next due date. Once you've finished everything that is in the upcoming due date, go ahead and work ahead if you like. Now, um, the class schedule that is printable is here, and you should be able to just print this up and follow it pretty much. Um, but if, for example, if something comes up or if I feel like we need more time with something, I might move things around just a little bit. Um, but I'm not going to redo this whole document and repost it. So make sure that you are looking at the due dates and clicking on the due dates here. So when you click on a due date, you will you will see everything that is on the agenda for that week. And things that are on the agenda are uh, things that you need to study and just learn about, along with the things that are actually due. So... Um, I have different colored links for turning in the actual work. So I try to make sure that I put the points along with whatever is due. And I make that link to click to upload the thing a different color. Um, so sometimes, uh, oftentimes, the things that are due are red or if it's like something for bonus points, uh, which is pretty rare. Uh, like I have this one just in a purple color. Um, this one's for an optional five bonus points. Um, but oftentimes you'll have things, or sometimes you'll have more than one thing due in a day. Um, so if that's the case, you may have two different colored links. Um, this is actually a video quiz. So this is a case where you don't actually click this green title. You're going to have to click the actual video to take the quiz. Um, this highlighted part is really just showing you that you need to pay attention to this video. So it's not a clickable link. Um, but this is for 20 points. But you can't just upload an email through clicking on the link. So um, Make sure that you read everything that's there. Um, if you have questions about where to upload something, let me know. That's one reason I make things in different colored links, though, is I often say, click the red link or click the purple link. Or if there is more than one thing due in a day, um, I might uh, need to specify that the draft is uploaded to the green link and the final essay is uploaded to the red link. Um, generally, if you see a red link, it's either the only link for an uploaded assignment on the page, or it's the one that's worth more than any other assignment on that page. Um, but like I've said before, don't dismiss those little 20-point assignments. Um, they do add up. 60% uh, of your total grade will be made up of the smaller assignments. Actually, no, I have that backwards. 40% of your total grade will be the smaller assignments. 60% are the tests and final revisions of essays. So um, 
still, you have to have at least 70 to pass with a C. Um, a D is not a passing grade. So if you were to only do the major tests and essays and none of the 20 point assignments, you will not pass the class. So make sure you do everything. Um, let me know if you have questions um, about how to upload, where to upload. Um, I'm happy to respond. Um, generally, I may say, click the green link. It's faster than writing out the whole name of the assignment. So I just clicked a green link on the outline for an assignment coming up later in the semester. And I want to make sure that you know that after you click the link, I want you to view the rubric for everything um, and make sure that you know how to uh, revise your assignments if you need to before you upload. So just because I clicked on the green link doesn't mean I have to upload yet. Once I see the rubric, I might decide, ooh, um, I didn't organize this the way it's supposed to be organized or I didn't uh, include all of the content I should or my formatting doesn't follow MLA format. I just used random bullet points and not the formatting that is provided for me in the sample. So I need to fix that. So if I decide to do that, I'll just exit out of that. I will cancel my submission and I can revise and then I can go back and click the green link again. And then when I'm ready to upload the assignment, I just browse my files and then wherever I saved my file, I can do that there. That was random pictures, sorry. Um, so you won't upload a picture, you're gonna upload, oh, and please don't upload pictures of your, of your work. Sometimes students wanna take screenshots of their essays. Save as a .doc or a .pdf. Um, those things are the types of um, files that I can comment on and give you feedback so that you can improve your writing for the next assignment. Everything we do in class is going to build toward um, the next assignment. So we are improving and, and getting more ambitious with our writing skills as we go along in the semester. Uh, don't forget to click submit in the right hand corner once you have uploaded the file to your um, correct link. All right, that is it for uploading assignments. Let me know if you have questions throughout the semester. I respond to emails as quickly as I can, Monday through Friday, really trying to keep the work-life balance going here. Um, feel free to email me on the weekends, but I won't get to them on, until Monday, more than likely. All right.